I'm so glad we went. I look, look, I started this going, huh, those are some really yikesy comments about kids. That's real strange. I wonder how deeper this goes. And then we went a little deeper and found the uh, the J.K. Rowling standing. And when you find a J.K. Rowling stand, you eventually find a f***ing turf. And behind every turf is actually a transphobe. Alrighty, so this is a weird one, but it's also kind of... Uh, kind of a little very disturbing. Uh, some stuff has been happening over at the University of Northern British Columbia. We gotta we, we gotta talk about it. Some updates have happened too, so I'm actually kind of glad that I waited to cover this segment because uh, there's more information on this. Uh, we will get to that here in a bit, though. Before we do that, fan art. Uh, this one is from Ivana Dragmire. So they don't know if this will count as fan art or not, but they made a Cirrus dress for Animal Crossing: New Horizons. I should probably get on Animal Crossing again and go seal that dress since the code is right there. Uh, I will I will actually do this so that the code is even more visible so that I can steal it. Because I will I will definitely seize I will seize this. Anyways, thank you very much for that, Ivana. The next one we have is from Unseemed, also known as Doom Prophet. It is the final update on a piece they've been working on for a while. They said they rushed a bit at the end, but this is a campaign being ran by Dungeon Master Cirrus, uh, and we've got Raz as a rogue, Ocean as a cleric. We have Nick as a hunter, Nick from Game Apologist. His pet is Shadow Channel Pup. He's even got a little Channel Pup logo there. Uh, the next one we have is Trey Nobles as the Bard and Wayne as an Artificer, as well as having Slime Cirrus here uh, off in the distance. We've got the Sunset City crew, Ocean Keltoy, my partner Raz, and then of course, there's all, there's all kinds of neat stuff in this picture. There's all kinds of neat stuff. I like this. I like this a lot. I like seeing fan art that has Sunset City representation because I get a lot of fan art, but I like seeing my friends get fan art too. And since we have that whole podcast together, 10 out of 10. Anyways, as always, thank you very much for your fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future episode, the best way to do so is to drop it in the fan art section of the Discord. With that said, content warning. Three UNBC students have come forward to the citizen, uh, to the system, which is this paper, uh, with disturbing allegations about Stuart Parker, who was their former professor. On Thursday, uh, Parker announced his intention to run for school district 57 board trustee in the January 15th by-election. The event prompted a trans rights protest downtown because of the presence of, out of outspoken anti-trans activist Chris Elston. The students, who the citizen is not naming, allege that during a third year history class conducted on Zoom in September 2020, Parker appeared to be intoxicated while teaching the course. Multiple videos submitted to the citizen show him talking about speaking about sexually abusing children. Uh, now that you know that that is the context here, content warning, we are going to play that video itself. You know what it says. They already told you. You have your trigger warning. You can hop out if you need to. But it's not really a crime. Like, nobody ever gets in trouble for fucking a kid they know. People only get in trouble for fucking kids they don't know. Uh, that's, like, most of what goes on in our society. Like, who the fuck has ever gone to jail for fucking their own kid or a kid they know? People only go to jail for fucking kids they don't know. And the reason they go to jail is because they're fucking a kid that someone else had the right to fuck. And the people who had the right to do that are cross that somebody stole that. Um, it's great having like a 70% female class list because 
I know based on statistics that a boat. Look at all these like really hot white girls. Um, like that's crazy. I've never seen that when I taught in Vancouver. Okay. That was a thing. And this man was running for a trustee position on the on the school board. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is a, this is a person who probably needs to be severely fucking investigated. Let's go ahead and continue on with the article itself. We get the reiterations from the article. It's not really a crime. Like nobody gets in trouble for doing a kid they know. Uh, yes, the fuck they do. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yes, they do. And statistically, most instances of abuse of children in this manner happen with people they do, in fact, know. Parker continues to say the only reason that people go to jail is for abusing children because they're having sex with people somebody else should have been allowed to abuse. They got the second video in there. They've already got that. You already, I don't need to reiterate what the video said. Now, continuing on with the article itself, the students say that several students brought the videos to Parker's superiors at UNBC, and he was promptly removed from teaching the class. Parker then said in an interview, I was facing extraordinary pressure in my domestic, personal, and political lives. As a person that suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder, I experienced an episode of triggering and I don't recall most of what happened during the day in question. Following that day, I went to Vancouver to receive an ad additional help with my PTSD and the way it flared up. Let's go ahead and get one thing very clear. Your PTSD is not an excuse to say the kinds of things you did to a group of people who have been entrusted to you for an amount of time. And for the people who are more into their adulthood who are part of your class, people who have entrusted themselves to you. That does not make it better. You do not get to hide behind your own trauma as a way of justifying saying the kinds of things that you did. That is not an okay thing to do, and we should not normalize that kind of behavior. Yes, trauma is terrible, and yes, we all need to find ways of dealing with it, but you can never use your trauma as an excuse to say shit like that. As for whether he still feels he's qualified to be a school district trustee, Parker said it would be terrible if people were disqualified for holding public office for having a bad day or having a stress disorder. Let's go ahead and make another thing clear. You are not being barred potentially, for having a stress disorder. A stress disorder does not make you justify the abuse of children. That is a lot more than a bad day. But continuing on, he resigned as leader of the BC Eco-Socialist Party in September 2020 after several social media comments were made that denounced his... Uh, that were he made were denounced as transphobic, resulting in public calls for his resignation. If you are in lefty spaces... Maybe it is a good idea not to be a transphobe. <laughs> Seems kind of fucking obvious. I don't know. Maybe I'm terminally online, though. Let's go ahead and see what the context is. A spokesperson for uh, UNBC could not comment on the video other than to say he's no, he no longer works there. That's pretty standard. As of Friday morning, Elections BC has not listed Parker as an official candidate in the election. Audrey McKinnon and Prince George and Raphael Weber of McKinsey were the only uh, two candidates named on the list uh, uh, published by Elections BC. In an interview on Friday morning, School District 57 chairperson Cheryl Warrington said that all trustees are expected to uphold the board's code of conduct and values. The duty of trustees is to respect the work on behalf of the students of the district. These are the values we hold. The com uh, in a statement issued on Friday, BC Minister Educator Jennifer Whiteside called on Parker to withdraw from the by-election. She said that the comments of the video are vile, deeply disturbing, and harmful to children. They have no place in our society, let alone our education system. I further condemn the t uh, the anti the anti LGBTQ comments made at Mr. Uh, Mr. Parker's campaign launch yesterday. The people and family of Prince George deserve elected representatives who stand for safe, inclusive learning environments, not those who promote dangerous views that jeopardize the safety and well-being of our children. BC schools should be a safe place for all children, staff, and families, and all members of the education system, including trustees, are expected to uphold that standard. Mr. Parker must take responsibility for his harmful speech, apologize unequivocally, and immediately uh, withdraw from the by-election. So I'm actually curious what he said. 
There's also this bit I missed here. He said, I'm not Rob Ford. There's no crack in the video. If we keep focusing on electing people who've never done anything embarrassing, I think we're going to continue to beat creativity out of our political process and legislative bodies. Dude, this isn't about creativity. You said something that justified fucking child abuse. And even if your intention was not to frame it that way, it came off that way. It really did come off that way. Oh, 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 I get it. OK, so here's what happened. Apparently, Stuart Parker resigned as an interim leader of the fledgling B.C. Eco-Socialist Party late Tuesday uh, after social media comments that were made or uh, denounced as transphobic. And the federal Green Party first expelled candidate Miriam Haddad from the party's leadership race after a controversy over her support of uh of the bc eco-socialists over the provincial greens and then reinstated Haddad after she appealed the decision parker's comments were in response to the september 12th facebook post uh made by nicola sperling bc greens provincial council member and a bc green candidate in the 2017 election sperling's facebook post discussed her unfriending of judy graves the one-time homelessness advocate for the city of vancouver graves has spoken out in favor of a short-lived i heart jk rowling billboard billboard in east vancouver seen by trans advocates as supportive of jk rowling's transphobic views the billboard was removed on september 12th after being defaced with paint in a blog post on his resignation, Parker claimed BC's two counterfeit left parties for using the issue to attack BC eco-socialists. A slew of false allegations of transphobia are being circulated against me and being used to tarnish the party and derail the important work of the coming campaign. According to Facebook's timestamp, Parker responded to Sperling a week ago. All right. So let's go and see what the actual post said. The post reads, They'll save folks the trouble and disengage here. I stand with J.K. Rowling. To many people is an expression of solidarity with a woman who has never over a thousand public rape threat, uh, who, has, who has received over a thousand public rape threats for questioning the frequency in which transition is recommended for kids with gender dysphoria. Rowling has never opposed trans people exercising their civil rights or advocated that any adult be prohibited from transitioning. Rowling has three points of contention that are outside the orthodoxy. A, that we have a hair trigger response to the on, uh, only using transition as the sole treatment for dysphoria when talk therapy has produced better results historically because this is being imposed top down by state based gender affirmation policies, not bottom up changes in medicine. Uh, what? That seems wildly inaccurate. Next, that we sterilize children too often when other treatments options have not been exhausted and that we should exhaust these options before permanently sterilizing someone. So, uh, maybe you should know that transitioning does not permanently sterilize you. Now, becoming less fertile is a thing that can happen with gender-affirming medication, but if it were the case... If it were the case that simply transitioning automatically sterilizes you, then Finland would not have a policy of forced sterilization of people who are trans before they are allowed to receive gender affirming care. If that were the case, that country would not have that policy because the medication would already fucking do that. Jesus God fucking H Christ. Then see that women should have the right to create not only single gender spaces, but single sex spaces. So when you create only single sex spaces uh, and people are not allowed in them or others, then they basically get no space. And again, here's the thing. If a trans woman goes into a lesbian bar, they have not corrupted the goddamn bar. Labeling everyone who questions any detail of the orthodoxy as a transphobe and a hate monger is a major tactical error trans rights advocates are committing right now. Yeah, this is called tone policing. This is a thing that abusers tend to do. This is tone policing trans people, but go on. People like Relling were your supporters a decade ago and remain advocates for trans equality despite the blizzard of rape threats and efforts to remove them from their jobs. So the rape threats are not tied with trans people's rights. This is a this is a category error dipshit. But eventually you will drive people onto the side of the Christian right if you demand slaving commitment to the orthodoxy from all your allies. Anyway, I know this will fall on death ears, but Marin and Judy were your allies half a decade ago and could be again if you engage instead of canceling. 
Yeah, I feel like you don't actually know the fucking situation then, Steward. You you feel you do, but maybe, and I'm going to actually commit a, uh, a, a, a genetic fallacy here, an ad hom, if you will, uh, right now. I feel like maybe I shouldn't take your opinion on this very seriously after your comments about children. Again, that is in fact a fallacy, and I recognize it's a fallacy, but I also don't think it's terribly inaccurate here. So anyone under 19 in BC requires permission from a parent or guardian to undergo sex transition surgery? Yep. While many trans people do undergo talk therapy, studies have shown it does not replace the benefits of transition surgery for those who choose to pursue it. There is no evidence to support claims that sharing bathrooms with trans women, for example, is dangerous for other women. Yep. But there is evidence to show that trans people are put at risk of sexual and physical violence if they are forced to use bathrooms that are that, you know, happen to match their genitals. Parker's post may have stayed under the radar if the BC eco-socialists hadn't received a surprise endorsement Monday from Haddad, a Montreal-based Green Party of Canada leadership candidate. Response on Twitter was swift, with many, including Sperling, pointing to Haddad, uh, Haddad to Parker's comments, as well as his blog post on trans people. He's got a blog post? Oh, no, it gets worse. Oh, God, is it another turf manifesto? Wokeness, intersectionality, history's wrong side and the false progressive consciousness of time. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh no. American Caliphate, who are the Young Turks? New Authoritarians, number one. Cosmopolitan Society's Populism of the Present Moment. What's new about the New Authoritarians? There's a lot of stuff here. This seems like a, th a, a, a thing I might have to go on to in another thing. Let's see here. In recent weeks, I have faced a great deal of adversity. My relationship of nearly four years with my partner ended. The separation that followed did not entail the loss of my beloved from my daily life, but of my home and all the members of the household that she and I built during our time together. Our shared life was undermined by many things, many my fault. But not all. There is no doubt that our current political climate made a significant contribution. This was followed by the destruction of my campaign for a seat on the Prince George uh, School Board. My campaign launch was attended and endorsed by my comrade Chris Elston, a courageous man who has made it his mission to challenge the rise of identitarianism in our schools and in particular the provincial education policy known as SOGI. Sogi, among its many flaws, requires teachers in our school system actively mislead parents about their children's gender identity and has in the past resulted in the use of experimental puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones on students without their parents' knowledge or consent. These blockers have never been tested on children for the purpose for which they are prescribed, and when they are combined with hormones and gender-affirming surgery, frequently result in permanent and irreversible sterility and loss of sexual function. Puberty blockers have been tested on children for multiple years. Cool, so he's just another turf. I'm so glad we went. I look, look, I started this going, huh? Those are some really yikesy comments about kids. That's real strange. I wonder how deeper this goes. And then we went a little deeper and found the uh, the J.K. Rowling standing. And when you find a J.K. Rowling stand, you eventually find a fucking turf. And behind every turf is actually a transphobe. Oh, my fucking God. Of course we'd get here. There's always a rabbit hole. There always is. Every time. And it's in, it's it's agitating. It's agitating. Anyways, now we know a little more about Stuart. A little more than I wanted to know when I walked in. What a weird uh, what a weird dude. Stuart, maybe uh maybe get your shit together. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. You want to be an advocate for people and you want to work with people on the left, then maybe advocate for things that people on the left typically advocate uh, for, like trans rights. If we get a trans rights in chat, that would be absolutely fucking fantastic. Anyways, as always, everyone, if you want to support the channel and what I do, you've got plenty of ways to do so in the description below. Uh, you can hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification icon if you haven't done that. That would be that would actually be real stellar. We've got a lot of trans rights in chat, but it's not enough. There needs to be more. Anyways, as always, everyone, thank you for viewing. Thank you for being here. 
as always, insert end of video tagline here.